All right, we're here. We're doing our first Uncle Eddie the Tool Guy tooltip video blog. All right, here. Um, let's see. What we're doing today is we're going to change these old shocks out. They're old, worn out Rancho shocks that the original owner put this truck in in 19, uh, probably 1974. It's a 73 truck, so. Bought them brand new and put them on there, but you know, after 40 years, they kind of wore out. And a lot of old school guys are watching, going, Hey man, I'd run those. You know, they got another hundred thousand miles on them, another 40 years, but uh, nope, we're gonna. But uh, what I'm gonna do today, because I don't have a fancy shop, whatever, a fancy uh. You know, driveway or anything like that. I'm going to show you how you would do this in the back country if you were on some farm road in Bakersfield or something, or up in uh, the mountains. So we're going to do it here on the rocks. Um, everybody here in California has got a yoga mat, like this one I found in the trash. And I don't do yoga. I don't even like yogurt. Okay, but I do redneck yoga. Let me show you redneck yoga. Put your yoga mat down on the floor here. And you grab your tools. And you do redneck yoga here. Now, um, or hillbilly yoga, whatever politically correct term you want to use. Appalachian American. I don't know. Anyway, come in closer here. And I'll show you what we got going on in here. If you can see... I've pre-soaked it in WD-40 here, and what we got is a bolt that's been on there for almost 40 years. So I'll show you. If you take a socket, and this whole handy dandy tool that I got at Sears, if you can see it, I don't know. Um, I got these at Sears. You can get off-brand ones, whatever. but. Uh, if you'll see, that's just going to spin. So, what you need to do is wrench like these ones. You put on here, either way, probably that way. Now, you take a set of these vice grips, like so, and there should be a little nub on the top. And you just adjust your vice grips. Like I said, this is, you know, if you were in a shop setting, you'd have this thing on a rack. And there, now I've broken it loose so it shouldn't spin too much. Um, it's actually loose enough to where I can just get a regular pair of pliers on it. If you were in a shop, you'd have this thing on a rack and, uh, you know, all that fancy hoo-ha, and you'd probably just cut it off with a set of air, uh, with like an air die grinder or something. But, if you're in the back country, you might not have an air compressor with you. Or you might if you're really prepared. So you're going to take this off. This is, we're going to, we got new ones hopefully in that pack. Uh, so, there you go. And that's going to come out like that. Now, and now we're going to do the same thing if you come in. So now we're underneath the truck and we're going to do pretty much the same deal here. Like again, I don't know if you can really see it that well. I got, you got to be careful. That's one thing. <laughs> I want to, you know, I'm not responsible for your, uh, you know, I'm just giving you the idea here. But the same principle applies. Oh, where'd, where'd the damn tool go here? Got the mystery call the Scooby Doo here. Uh, here we go. Here's our. This one, same principle. It's stock frozen, old. All right, here. So, we do the same. Same song and dance. Just a different melody here. All right, and break it loose. Ooh, this one's tough. 
this bottom one doesn't want to go. So maybe what we'll have to end up doing is getting it here. Still, now this is real stubborn. It's, it's like an original piece of equipment. Adventure to say that these were put on, like I said, just a year or so after the truck was bought. We use a half inch drive. We might get a little bit more torque and more leverage. And that, yeah, there we go. Pork and leverage on that nut fire. Uh, there we go. Stubborn, stubborn old rusty nut. It's like me. Uh, I can't complain too much. Huh? off of here and then if I'm nice and I feel like it I'm gonna explain to you how to put it back on that cost extra I'll tell you how to take it off for free but I'll charge you a nickel to show you how to put it back on anyway there you go I got it off here and then throw that out there and Collect all the old stuff so you don't put your old hardware back on. All right, it's different Ford, Chevy, Dodge, Toyota, whatever your four-wheeler may be, Jeep. Um, so the boots and all that stuff go on differently. You should always read the instructions. You know, uh, this one, it comes with this style boot here. This, this end on the bottom is gonna go this way. Think. No, it's going this way. There we go. Anyway, so that goes to the bottom there. Okay. Pull that out. Oh boy. Kind of tough. There we go. And then this just kind of goes around like that, on the lip there. Like I said, every manufacturer, everything's going to be different, so I'm not going in too much of a detail because you may not own a Ford four wheel drive, you may have a Chevy four wheel drive, and it could be completely different than what I'm showing you. So I didn't put the nut and bolt on the bottom yet, in the bottom spacer, for this particular reason. But what I'm gonna do, put this here, so, get the nut started, like so. Now I'm gonna gently do that press it down. It should go into its own little hole there. I don't know what the deal with that is, but I'll fix it. There we go. Oh boy. We're starting to look like a real boy, Pinocchio. Anyway. Get in your hillbilly yoga mat here. Get up underneath. There. You put the bottom one on. And then again, when you're tightening it, those nubs I showed you with the vice grips, you can use those in order to uh, 
tighten it, but because they're new and nice and not 40 some year old crotchety stubbornness, you can probably just use our regular ratchet like so. Just kind of hold on to the body. There we go. Cinched it down. And then I'll get back up and do that top one. Alright, so we're going to tighten this up now, and uh, like so, now you don't have to, you know, just, like I said, torque it real hard and until you break something, because uh, what you're going to end up doing is driving the truck, and then, you know, a couple miles or so, and then you're going to cinch all this stuff down again. Now, now it's starting to get kind of tight. I think that's probably good enough right there. And like I said, you know, you're not going to... This is just to get you out of the backcountry. Then you're going to go and put all this uh, stuff on. Okay, so yeah, the zip tie, I'm going to tell you right now, this came with Rancho Shocks, so I'm not being a zip tie mechanic. Uh, that's how they want you to put the boot on. Anyway, there it is. It's all installed, whatnot. Now, like I said... My little disclaimer here, follow all the safety procedure, chalk your wheels, take off the negative uh, battery terminal, all that good stuff, uh, wear eye protection, safety goggles, gloves. I'm not your mother, I shouldn't have to tell you all this. Um, also, uh, follow the directions. Every, Like I said, every manufacturer is different. If you have an international harvester, they might want you doing it a different way. If you have a Jeep, they might want you to do it another way. So follow their instructions and whatnot. But you should pretty much get the idea of it. But the tool tip was the redneck yoga mat and using the vice grips here. So take what you will from that and anything else, well, you know, you're on your own there. All right, I'll see you next time, if I decide to make a next time.